morning and I thought I'd sit up in the benches at the top in the gallery uh, to just watch what was going on while I... Uh, while I waited for Malusi Gigaba to make his presentation before the uh, Home Affairs Portfolio Committee and I was quite taken aback as to uh, what actually was unfolding uh, right below me. It seemed as if the EFF uh, had started uh, with a little bit of antagonism uh, showing the uh, oh, what seemed like an old Nokia or a, a certainly not a smartphone uh, to uh, uh, the Home Affairs Minister Malusi Gigaba and saying that uh, the President should give more of these sort of phones uh, to stop his cabinet from being embarrassed, embarrassing themselves. Uh, that uh, set off um, some kind of uh, mutterings, if you like. Uh, and then uh, the DA started with calling, uh, saying could, could the EFF, the, the VBS looters, please give them some time. Uh, John Stienhazen, I think it was, uh, the DA chief whip, asking for time to speak. Uh, and then calls of racism and then uh, pay back the money, racism, it escalated from there. And then the one uh, Akhang, one of two Akhang members standing up, Kluama, uh, MP saying, uh, you know, uh, white people should have a chance to talk. And then the next thing I saw was a bottle being thrown. I can't tell you who threw that bottle, um, but it did result, uh, it would seem a lot of pulling and tugging and perhaps a punch or two being thrown. Uh, Annika, in, in terms of the actual proceedings this afternoon, much of it took place, uh, you know, a little bit away from the microphone. So in terms of what was being said, whether it was uh, the scuffle that we had between the EFF and the DA and uh, the one that took place between the EFF and uh, um, Mr. Tlouama, were you able to hear at all what, in, what it is that they were, they were screaming at each other about? The first disruption started when John Stienhays and the DA Chief Whip uh, said to an EFF member, it could have been Julius Malema, if he could please have some time uh, or, or silence in order to make his point and to speak. Uh, and then he called them VBS looters. Uh, the EFF responded, I think, by saying, um, you know, you are racists. Then the DA started chanting, pay back the money. And the, D, uh, the EFF responded by chanting in their group, uh, racists, racists. Uh, that was the first incident. Uh, that then settled down after a short while. Toko Diziza is the acting speaker. She seemed to uh, get control uh, fairly quickly. Uh, and then the next scuffle broke up when the Akhang member, uh, Mr. Tluama, said that he believed that white people should have a chance to be heard in the House. That's certainly what I heard. Then a bottle was thrown, uh, and then it all descended into a big brawl and uh, a mass of pulling shirts. This Akhang member, I mean, he really didn't stand much of a chance. He was completely outnumbered uh, by members of the EFF who, who pounced on him. Um, and then I think people from other members of the opposition tried to help him um, and eventually the uh, protection, uh, the protection uh, guards were called in and asked to escort uh, both the EFF member uh, Paulson and the Akhang member from the House. And uh, just meters away, the President. Um, I actually, at that stage, thought that they would take him away because I thought, I wondered if he was any sort of danger, in any sort of danger uh, of a hat or a bottle or something being thrown at him. But he responded, w responded with incredible calm and statesmanship, I thought, uh, and uh, tried to bring some integrity back into the House. All right. Of course, uh, Annika, if it wasn't for that uh, drama, the focus at uh, this hour would be on Malusi Gigaba, the appearance he is scheduled to make any time from now before the Portfolio Committee on Home Affairs. That's right. I mean, when the uh, jibe was made at him about the smartphones, he didn't laugh. He didn't think it was funny at all. And throughout the, uh, throughout the sitting, he was uh, jerking his leg up and down uh, with nerves, or it seemed with anxiety. Um, but as soon as the scuffles broke out, he seemed to relax a little bit more because uh, clearly the, it's, the focus was off him. Um, but it's been a long day for him. He sat here at the Portfolio Committee uh, from 9 o'clock this morning dealing with the civil union 
Bill, uh, and he will be back here now uh, before uh, there's one more issue item on the agenda that the Home Affairs Portfolio Committee is going to deal with, and then he will be questioned again about the Fireblade aviation issue. Remember last week that the director of Fireblade, uh, Nikki Oppenheimer, accused him of lying to this particular committee, uh, and as uh, Lucy Gigaba's uh, spokespeople have said, it wasn't an actual act of perjury, that's a criminal act, he hasn't been charged with perjury, uh, but he was accused of lying under oath deliberately. All right, Annika, let's leave it there with you for now. And, of course, that session is expected to get underway uh, any time now.